All right, we're back. What's going on guys? Bengal again here. This is my first actual video since hitting 100,000 subscribers. If you guys didn't see the actual thank you for 100k, that's a video. Is it worth watching? Probably not, but I am doing a 100k Q&A. Uh, those are on my Twitter and Instagram, so follow me down there. Links are in the description. And uh, yeah, we got another tier list video. I'm sure you guys definitely aren't sick of these. I was talking to a uh, Healy earlier. I'm like, yeah, I gotta go record a, uh, a tier list video for safeties. And uh, I'm like, everyone in the comments can be like, this is still a thing? Are we really still doing this? But yeah, we are. Because I still have safeties, linebackers, and cornerbacks to go. And I do want to give you guys the complete positional rankings uh, for those positions heading into the 2019-2020 NFL season. So I'm excited to go. Safety is one of my favorite positions in football. I really gravitate towards the defense side of the ball. Like, offense is cool, but like, interception, sacks, I'm all about it. All about sacks. Write that one down. All right, so safeties, if you guys don't know the tier list style, it is S to F. Uh, we've added the F tier. And S tier is the top of the top, cream of the crop. Don't want to flip-flop. I'm not a rapper, clearly. But uh, S tier, you know, elite, down to F, which is uh, how do they have a starting job. So probably very few guys are going to be in the F tier. Because, uh, I mean, these are all starters. Although, I'm going to try to be harsh in some areas. I don't. I, I know people are always going to disagree, but uh, I want to be mean because it gets people going in the comments, and that means I win. So, um, a lot of these faces are like nearly unrecognizable. I say a lot of them, but like, for example, this player right here is Morgan Burnett. And if you look at what Morgan Burnett looked like when he was playing with the Green Bay Packers, and I know he had did have dreads for a while, but I mean his headshot, opposed to this here, it looks night and day, and he's in the Browns now, but... It's wild how different he looks, but um, yeah, we're going to start off with DeMonte Casey, and I know interceptions are a big part of the safety position, but they don't really tell the full story. For example, Stevie Brown with the Giants at eight picks, like, uh, I don't know, what was that, 20, 2012, maybe? It was a while ago, but Stevie Brown was never a good player, but lucked into eight interceptions. At uh, Louisville, what is it, Gerard Holloman? He had 14 picks in a season, wasn't a particularly good player. Sometimes it's just right place, right time. Uh, so interceptions don't tell the full story. So I know DeMonte Casey had like seven picks last year, maybe even eight. Uh, but I don't think he's a top tier safety by any means. He's decent. Uh, I would probably take Ricardo Allen over him. But this list has uh, DeMonte Casey as a starter, even though there were a lot of injuries last year. Uh, although I don't think Casey's a bad player. I'm going to go ahead and stick him in B tier. I think it's probably the best spot for him right now. Interceptions don't tell the full story, but he definitely isn't bad. Tony Jefferson is pretty terrible. He's a run support safety, and I do value those pretty highly. But he doesn't even really do that all that well. Uh, certainly is a huge liability in coverage. So uh, we're going to go ahead and stick Tony Jefferson down in D. Now comes a pretty tough decision. This is Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams is a beast. He was a beast coming out of LSU. Had a decent rookie campaign, and then had an unbelievable season last year. Uh, so the you know this uh, sky is the ceiling. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, He's got a really high ceiling. Like, the sky's the limit. That's the expression. Jamal Adams is great. I'm just struggling whether to go S tier on him or A tier. I think we're going to be nice to Jamal Adams um, and say he continues that trend. So we're going to go ahead and stick him in S tier. This is Adrian Amos, or Amos. Uh, now with the Packers, he shifted teams within the division. Uh, Amos, not a bad player. Uh, just another guy that is unexceptional. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick him in B tier. He's like... You know, B tier is perfect for him, honestly. Buda Baker. This is a tough part of the safety position because we have some some hybrid guys in here. Like some slot cornerbacks, some box linebackers almost, uh, or like some box safeties, I should say, almost playing linebacker. Buda Baker kind of does it all. And he's a good player, but overall as a safety, I really can't put him much higher than a B. Von Bell. Von Bell, I think, is C tier for sure. He would have been D uh, early on. Didn't really look great in his uh, first season in the NFL, but I think has been a little bit better. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and stick him in C tier. Antoine Bethea. Antoine Bethea is a tough one. I'm a Giants fan, as many of you guys know. Um, of course, a lot of new subscribers, though. So if you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Um, I, I guess I can't say I'm pushing for 100K anymore, which is kind of cool. But uh, Bethea is 35, although wasn't terrible last year. He just is so old, and, and I think he's still probably a C-tier player uh, just because he did have a really solid year last year, but he is 35. He's not as good as he used to be. I think C-tier is probably a good spot for him at this point. Morgan Burnett. 
Morgan Burnett on the Packers used to be really good. Morgan Burnett now, not so good. Can't really even stay on a team so much. Uh, he is on the Browns now. Kind of weird, but I don't... <sighs> I don't know that I can stick him in C tier, so I'm going to go ahead and slot Morgan Burnett uh, in D. Sorry, I used to like him a lot, but he's just he's just not that good anymore. Uh, Kevin Byer, another weird one where he is so underrated and so talented. I don't think he's quite in S tier, but I think Kevin Byer is for sure near the top of A tier. He's definitely a solid player, so uh, we're going to show him some love and stick him in A tier. He's definitely way better than B, but... He's one of these borderline SA guys, and uh, I'm going to play it safe for right now, and we're going to stick him in, in uh, A tier. Patrick Chung. Chung isn't bad. He is the definition of a C tier player to me, kind of like on the same scale as Antoine Bethea. Um, and so even though Bethea and Chung are kind of in like the twilight of their career and Von Bell is on the rise, these two are still a little bit better than Von Bell is, in my opinion. But uh, Von Bell just has the benefit of being on an uptick in his career, opposed to uh, in the twilight like Bethea and Chung. Adrian Colbert, another C-tier player. He isn't bad, just young, a little bit raw, uh, but he does look like he's a pretty solid player and uh, makes up a pretty good secondary there in San Francisco, at least on the back end with Adrian Colbert and Jaquiski Tart. It's not a bad combo. Um, cornerbacks is a little bit of a different story there. Landon Collins is A-tier, really, really good box safety. Um, tackling machine just has been not as great in coverage as he was in that fantastic uh, like 2017 season where he was nearly defensive player of the year I love Landon Collins I'm a Giants fan loved him uh, I still like him even though he's on the Redskins I can't just like flip a switch like that when he's changed teams but Landon Collins is a beast just because he can't really do it all he is an A tier for me uh, unlike S Jamal Adams can do it all Kevin Byer really doesn't defend the run quite as well and Landon Collins doesn't cover quite as well. So I feel like both these guys are, are classic A tier. Uh, this is Suwa Cravens. Cravens is a weird player. I feel like he had a mental breakdown not too long ago and, and quit football or retired. And then and he came back with the Broncos and wasn't necessarily bad. He actually, I think he had a pretty decent year last year. Uh, he's just a weird player to grade, man, because he didn't really, uh, he hasn't really played that much. And he's still young. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick him in D tier just because of how weird he is. Because you look at the uh, Denver secondary, you say Justin Simmons. He's a starter. Um, Will Parks played like a box linebacker role almost, but he was a, like a strong side safety. Strong safety. Weird player. Um, he, I don't really know how to grade him that well, so we're going to stick him in D. Sean Davis. He's shown some flashes of being fantastic, just uh, overall not quite there yet. So he is about average. We're going to stick him in C tier. Terrell Edmonds is not good. He doesn't really do anything well. He was certainly a reach in the first round when the Steelers took him there. Um, doesn't have the upside that his brother Tremaine has at linebacker for the Bills. Uh, he could be better down the line, but right now he, I think he is D tier. Justin Evans is uh, is probably C. I like Justin Evans. I think he has good potential. Just not a great tackler and still is working on his coverage ability a little bit. I think he's better than some of these D tier players. Uh, and has shown that he can be just overall not great, um, but not terrible either. He's like, you know, average. DeShazer Everett, weird guy. Uh, I remember him at Texas and I'm playing cornerback. He plays safety now, uh, and he is replacement level in my opinion. Probably not starter caliber. They have some good safeties in there. Monte Nicholson is a name that you're not going to find on this list because uh, he really loves, loves, loves some off the field issues. Um... So I don't know if he's even going to play this year. And then he got suspended for PEDs, I think. So I don't know what his deal is. But he's Monte Nicholson's good. DeShazer Everett, not so much. Mika Fitzpatrick is B tier. Had a decent rookie season. He's a guy that kind of gets moved all around the field because of his abilities. Like Buda Baker. Um, so he's a solid player. Just not quite any higher. But we're going to be nice and say he's uh, better than some of these C tier average players. Uh, who is this? Clayton Gathers, I think. Uh, yeah, Clayton Gathers. Clayton Gathers is another average player. Pretty solid run defender. He's almost borderline B. He's an underrated player, as like almost everyone in Indianapolis is, I feel. Uh, but I can't really put him higher than a C for right now. Deshaun Gibson. Deshaun Gibson is... I'm going to put him in D. I know that's mean. He wasn't exactly terrible last year. Just 
not quite the same player he was. I'm predicting more of a downhill uh, spiral for him. So he's not terrible, but these guys in D aren't necessarily terrible. They just, you know, haven't had things go their way or they're on a, a downhill uh, run in the past couple of years. Deshaun Gibson kind of fits that mold really well. This is Ronnie Harrison. Ronnie Harrison looked really, really solid uh, in opportunities that he got. I like Ronnie Harrison a lot. He was really solid at Alabama. Just how nice can I be here? I'm going to stick him in C. I think he definitely has potential to rise a lot. He's a really, really talented player. Just I can't put him any higher than this for right now. Malik Hooker, I think, is a stud. Really, really talented player. Has to stay on the field. Right now, he is B tier. Micah Hyde is A. Micah Hyde, really, really talented guy. Can play in that slot cornerback role. Can almost operate as a linebacker. Does it all. Really, really underrated. Bills fans think I hate their team, but I'm just realistic with Bills fans, and Bills fans are way over the top. However, Micah Hyde is certainly one of the better safeties in the league um, very easily. Justin Reed. Nope. Eric Reed. Eric Reed, not as good as he used to be. There's a reason that Eric Reed wasn't on teams and it wasn't because of kneeling i hate to bring that up but uh he just was not the same player after concussions man uh eric reed was a super fun player to watch at lsu uh super fun player to watch uh, when he was younger with the 49ers my voice kind of did something weird there you're gonna have to excuse me uh what is happening hey i forget i'd do this video thing eric reed just not the same player he was um before the concussions it's unfortunate i think when he was at his best, he was one of the best safeties in the league, or was certainly looking or trending that way. But right now, Eric Reed is a replacement level safety, in my opinion. People are going to hate that. I don't care. Keanu Neal, beast. Injured last year, beast player. Really, really talented. Solid in coverage. Fantastic run defender. Keanu Neal, one of the best uh, safeties in the league, for sure. Just not quite the amazing cover guy do it all that I think Jamal Adams is and I'm being nice to Jamal Adams here because I think he's on that that uphill trend Keanu Neal is almost borderline s not quite yet though he's still young uh coming off injury so I could see him ending up in s just not right now Jordan Poyer uh is top of beats here he had a good year um in the past I think 2018 was a really solid year from or 2017 I should say and then he wasn't bad in 2018 just I don't think he's good as any of these guys here up in A. I think he pretty much fits the mold of these B-tier guys, so we're going to leave him there. Haha, -ha, aka Hashan Clinton Dix, another Alabama safety. There are a lot of them on this list. Minka, uh, Landon Collins, uh, Ronnie Harrison. I mean, there's a, I could go through all of them. That might be all of them at this point, but uh, a lot of SEC guys as well. You start factoring in Keanu Neal and Jamal Adams, and there's a lot. It's a power conference, but Haha -ha, Clinton Dix... He's probably a B-tier guy at this point. Uh, he's good, just not great. Certainly not as good as any of these A-tier guys. I think he falls in pretty well with these other B-tier guys. So does Jesse Bates. Fantastic rookie year last year. I'm just not going to overrate him right now. Really, really good player. Could see him moving up into A, but right now he is certainly B-tier. George Iloka is replacement level. Um, kind of in that weird range with this F and D. Uh, George Iloka, I don't know how much longer he's going to stay on an NFL roster couple years maybe we'll have to see dj swearinger really really good run defender and showcased some pretty good cover skills actually got cut from the washington redskins unbelievably dj swearinger was in my opinion an overrated player for a couple years wasn't really all that good but he's been really really solid these past couple years and I almost want to stick him in A tier. I'm going to stick him at the top of B, though. I think he's with the Arizona Cardinals now. He's a solid, solid player. Just I don't think I can put him up with these A tier guys at this point. Eddie Jackson, though, I will. Uh, Eddie Jackson, really, really talented player. Ball hawk. Does find himself out of position at times because he's going for those big plays. But overall, really, really solid player. Another guy I could see moving into, at, into S, but just got to tackle a little bit better. But Eddie Jackson, really, really fun player to watch. Like him a lot. Just not quite S tier, in my opinion. Derwin James is, though. I know I usually don't do this, and I took some heat when I didn't put Saquon in S, and I love Saquon. I, I think he's one of the best running backs in the NFL. He's top two, I think, for sure, with Le'Veon Bell. But I didn't want to overrate rookies because we just have seen such a small body of work. Although, I regret it. I would have put Saquon in S because I do think he's a top two, top three running back in the NFL for sure. I think Derwin James is a top safety in the NFL. If Jamal Adams is S tier, I think Derwin James is certainly S tier as well. So, I am riding the hot hand uh, in some instances here, but I think Derwin James is a beast 
one of the best safeties in the NFL. I'm going to I'm gonna trust my gut on that one. Malcolm Jenkins is a tier. Really, really good player. Versatile for the Eagles. Kind of does it all. Um, isn't exceptional in any one area, but just does everything pretty well. So I think he is a tier. John Johnson, uh, the third. Or the second? John Johnson, the second? It's John Johnson, the something. Uh, idiot name, either way. You imagine having the last name Johnson, and you name your kid John? So John's son... The son of... is John? It's... I hate it. Whatever. Uh, he is really good, though. Really underrated. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and stick him at the top of B tier. I like John Johnson a lot. Just, uh... A little bit slow in the secondary at times. So, cover abilities are decent. Really good tackler. Uh, I think top of B tier is exactly his range. Reminds me a lot of DJ Swearinger in a lot of ways. Rashad Jones, not the same player he used to be. He is C tier for me. Uh, Dolphins fans are gonna be pissed, but... When you're splitting snaps with TJ McDonald, I don't know how good you can be. Carl Joseph. Carl Joseph's a player I like a lot. Um, I think he's been tremendously mistreated in Oakland. They were trying to trade him. Uh, he's a B-tier player. Excellent run stopper. Coverability is not quite there yet. I like Carl Joseph a lot. You can barely even see him on this screen at this point uh, for a couple of reasons. One, because he blends in with the background almost in that black jersey as well. Uh, and two, my big-ass face cam is going to be in the way a little bit, so I might have to move myself if it comes to that. As we get to LaMarcus Joyner, who, in my opinion, is A tier. Another guy that's like a nickel cornerback um, and kind of does it all. LaMarcus Joyner is a stud, is now a new Oakland Raider, and he is uh, really, really talented, so I'm not going to sell him short. He is A tier for sure. Miles Killebrew is replacement level. I'm going to stick him in F. I don't think Miles Killebrew should be a starter in the NFL. Um, I think Quandre Diggs should be on this list. I know he played some nickel cornerback or some, you know, in the slot, sometimes some linebacker almost. Quandre, Drake, uh, Quandre Diggs should be on this list. Took him horns, by the way, but it's Miles Killebrew. Uh, and they also have Tavon Wilson, who, in my opinion, is like, like D tier. They're both not very good. Quandre Diggs should be here, but I guess the maker of this list is like, he's a slot cornerback, which I can't really fault too much because some of these hybrid players are kind of weird to uh, to rank. Tyre Matthew is A tier. Another guy that's a hybrid guy. Plays a lot of slot cornerback. Can kind of do it all. I think he's going to be extremely effective for the Chiefs. Although I think his best role with the Chiefs is going to be over the top in, in that traditional free safety role. They have Kendall Fuller to play slot CB. So uh, Tyre Matthew doesn't really need to fill that role. He is definitely uh, A tier in my opinion. Could work his way up to S. He's extremely versatile. As an overall defensive back, I think he's one of the best in the NFL. As an overall safety, I think A tier is his perfect range. Marcus May, not that good. Overdrafted, uh, I think went in the second round. Probably would have been like a, a, a three to four in my opinion. Uh, he's not terrible, just hasn't really even been healthy. Hasn't shown me anything yet, so I really can't put him in C tier. Um, even if he is like a C tier caliber player, uh, we're going to hold him back in D for the time being. Devin McCourty is A tier. Devin McCourty, another guy that's really, really talented, has been at a top level for a very long time. So, uh, I think that is the perfect range for him. Bradley McDougald, fantastic year last year. He is B tier. Um, you can't see him, so we're just going to move Carl Joseph over. Uh, Bradley McDougald is B tier for sure. Incredible year last year. Um, so I am going to move him up from maybe a C tier where he's been in the past. Rodney McLeod. Rodney McLeod was good with the Rams. Another guy that's kind of suffered from injury a little bit here in Philadelphia. I think he is probably a C-tier caliber player. So we're going to go ahead and, and stick him right in there. Not a B-tier guy. Has been in the past. Also has been a D-tier guy in the past. So I think C is the perfect spot. Jabril Peppers uh, is B-tier. Had a really, really good year last year in Cleveland. Although I really can't stick him much higher than this. He's kind of at the end of B-tier for me. Where he, he did have a great year last year. Really, really good year. Just, we got to see more of it, Jabril. Um, we got to see you become a more polished safety. And that could happen in New York. I really hope it does, man. I'm a Giants fan. But right now, can't stick him any higher. But after his great year last year, I think he's definitely beats here. Demarius Randall is uh, honestly borderline A for me. Randall's a really, really good player. I wanted him to be a safety coming out uh, when he was drafted with the Packers in the first round. I'm like, this is a perfect free safety. Had a lot of similar traits to Earl Thomas coming out of Arizona State. And the Packers, doing Packers things, are like, yeah, we're going to play him at cornerback. And they did that for so many players over the next few years. Micah Hyde was a safety. They're like, yeah, we're going to play cornerback. It's their favorite thing to do is play safeties at corner. 
and Demarius Randall was wasted in Green Bay. Completely wasted. Now he's been a really solid safety in Cleveland, so I like that a lot. Also, uh, Justin Reed, another guy that's almost A tier. Tremendous rookie year. I stuck Derwin in S. Not quite as good as Derwin James, but I love Justin Reed a lot. If I said Eric by mistake, sometimes I do that. I apologize. I know the difference very clearly. Um, Justin Reed, Stanford safety that was drafted last year by the Texans, opposed to an LSU safety in Eric Reed, who was on the 49ers, won, uh, was a Pro Bowl in his first year at LSU. Did I say that? Whatever. Justin Simmons. Justin Simmons is another borderline A-tier guy, in my opinion. Uh, we're going to stick him in B, though. I think the rest of these A-tier guys are just better, so that's why the, uh, the mismatch is kind of in that situation right now. Uh, Simmons is a really, really talented player, versatile, and now with the system change in Denver, he could be even better this year as that kind of fits his role or his uh, abilities a little bit better. Harrison Smith is S tier. Didn't quite have the year last year that he did in 2017, but still is a tremendous player. Absolutely going to put him in S tier. Daniel Sorensen is D tier. Probably shouldn't be a starter, I think almost for sure. Last year wasn't too bad, but it was a career year, and I think he's still a D tier caliber player. Jaquiski Tart is another guy that's top of B. Really, really talented player. Fantastic run stopper. Um, I know he actually got drafted pretty highly out of Samford, considering where Samford players usually get drafted, which is not at all. Tart, good player. Broke his arm last year, was injured, but he's really good when he's on the field. Earl Thomas is S tier. One of my favorite players in NFL history, but he's also a monster. Um, one of the best safeties by far. I think the best center fielder that the NFL has seen over the past uh, uh, decade for sure. Ed Reed, Earl Thomas, both that center field role, both those incredible abilities. Earl Thomas is a really one of a kind in a lot of ways. So hook him horns, yes, but I got to put him S tier. He is an S tier caliber player. As we have another Texas Longhorn and Kenny Vaccaro, who is not. Vaccaro, I want to stick in B tier, but he's a C tier caliber guy at this point. He's average, decent run stopper, uh, has some versatility, never really lived up to his first round uh, draft pick by the Saints. So I love Kenny Vaccaro. I really do, but um, not that good in the NFL. Eric Weddle, B tier. Weddle is 34, I want to say. Super old, still super good. Well, not super. He's still pretty good. Uh, he is B tier. I think he fits in with most of these guys. Not quite as good as any of the A guys. Although Marcus Williams, I do want to stick in A. I just can't quite yet. Underrated player. A lot of people are going to remember him for that non-tackle against Stefan Diggs in the NFC Championship, but he still is a really, really talented player. Rookie season was awesome. Last year, not quite as good in my opinion, but still a solid player nonetheless. Sean Williams, I know he's a captain in Cincinnati. He's pretty bad. Um, although he did have a good year last year, if I recall correctly. Um, I feel like he is a replacement level though, so sorry. Maybe he can go as high as C, but we're going to stick him top of D tier because I'm mean. And uh, I, I always want to say this is Chidobi Awuzie. It's not. They look similar, though, I want to say. Uh, this is Xavier Woods. Xavier Woods is not bad. I think he's, like, definition of C-tier kind of guy. Uh, not that good. Not that bad. Kind of just in the middle. So uh, that is my safety tier list video. And, um, yeah, I'd like to remind you to use code BANGLE at SeatGeek for $20 off your first purchase. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for 100K again. Uh, it means the world to me. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.